Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Trophy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Steam group. So first of all, you have to know what a Steam group is. So a Steam group is a group where you can post announcements and stuff and chat with other people uh, w with, uh, with whom you're not friends with or you are friends with. So how can you create a Steam group? So first of all, you'll have to go up top uh, to your uh, to the steam bar you'll hover over your name you see the drop down tab here so what you have to do is like you you have your activity profile friends whatever so you'll have to click on groups and you then you've done that you should come to this page so this page is uh where uh, is where you can see your groups here are your friends and stuff so here are some of my groups if you want to join some of them so uh, what you have to do is you can come down from friends. So you see first tab friends, second tab groups. What you have to do is from groups, you have to go down to create group. When you've clicked on this, uh, on create groups, you can just do um, like all the good stuff is here. For example, check availability. That's good. AT, so your group name will be the name of your group. Your abbreviation will be uh, what you can see, for example, in CSGO when you have your uh, group tag as um, it's, it's, uh, it, uh, you can set it so it, can, uh, it stands next to your name uh, on the scoreboard and stuff. So your abbreviation, uh, you can make it whatever you want, but I'll just do it uh, ATG uh, S. Yeah, uh, S I H. It does work. Okay, and then uh, for the group link, it's uh, the it's uh, it's a link people have to click. Uh, people have to go to um, to find your group. So uh, to do this, I would just recommend just copy copying this, pasting it in here. Always checked availability. Oh, yeah, invalid characters. That's because it has space spaces. So here you'll have to do, you'll have to take out the spaces. Make this and then check availability. Look, it, per, it works. So the group link, all the stuff is good. Uh, all the good stuff is here is available. So. Then public group it means that random people can just go to your link and join the group. So you want if you want it to be uh, a non uh, not just friend group, uh, you should put public group on. And then you just click create. It will ask you, do you really want this to be your group? So group name, all the good stuff is here. Abbreviation. A T G I A S I H and a group link. The thing with the all the good stuff is here. If you're sure you want to create a group like this, click create. If you don't, click cancel. But for this video, I'm gonna be clicking create. So when you create, you'll come to the editing page of your group. So here you see your ID and your abbreviation. Then for the headline, you should just uh, type like uh, all like something whatever you want so i'll just do all the good stuff is here then for the summary you can just put whatever you want again i'll just put the same thing then the custom url is the uh, link people have to go to to find your group so that's all the good stuff is here for the language you can just do whichever language you want i'll i'll just do english for the sake of this video country you can do whatever you want for associated games you can say like uh in this ga in this um group we post csgo stuff so you just come here and you just do counter strike and you can see here can't strike global offensive if you only post rocket league content you will just do it always happens to me you'll just do rocket league you see so then you can post only Rocket League content, or only you can you can specify it to be most of the time Rocket League content. 
So then we come to the avatar, that's self-explanatory, you can just make it whatever you want. For the website, um, you can, if you have a website you want to um, link to this uh, group, you can just put in the title and the URL of the website. So for example, Sorry. For example, uh, if you want to have like I don't know whatever whichever website uh, linked to your uh, group, you can just put in the title of the website, and then the URL of the website. I don't have any website, so I won't be putting this in. And then um, you can just click Save Changes if you're finished, if you're done. So in the admin tools, you can see if you want to post an announcement, you can do it here. Like you just click on Post Announcement. And then you can just do like headline and then the message it wants to be it should be then if you want to uh, do a hidden announcement um, you can just do it here too a schedule uh, for an event for example you can just say like at that day we want to have this many people on uh, for an event you can just do this or choose a player of the week and group history um, we're right now on the edit prof uh, group profile thingy, but you can also manage the chat bands. For example, if someone was uh, uh, typing some weird stuff into a chat, you can just um, you can just manage here. Um, for example, you can unban them, temporarily ban them, um, permanently ban them, and stuff. So manage group members. And here you can because um, if you created the group, you're the operator of the group or the admin. So in here you can ban people and uh, kick people and whatever. Then edit group permissions, you can say for example, a member can delete the group. So you can just come here and uh, set it in. I'll just show you for example, like who can, uh, choose who can. Owner for example can do all of this. The officers can do all of this. The um, thingies can do all of this and the members can do all of this so you get the point it's pretty uh, self-explanatory and then the group request is for example if people want to join your group but your group um, is not public I think um, you can just um, say or you can just accept them there like uh, in your friends list and then here is the forums um, this only applies when you have like a pretty big group, um, so you can uh, put up forum forums and stuff. Then for the bands, you can just uh, sorry for that alert. Um, for the bands, you can just like temporarily ban, unban stuff. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below what I should do next for a tutorial. And uh, yeah, uh, see ya.